Hello everybody, this is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Adobe Premiere Elements, and here we are in Premiere Elements. We've got a clip on our timeline that has a problem I sometimes have to deal with. For the most part, your camcorder or your phone is going to compensate very well for the white balance of a scene, the color temperature of a scene. But occasionally, as in this case here, my camcorder uh, was still set for a different color temperature than the actual scene, and now my picture has come out kind of orange and brown, a little bit reddish. Now, when I talk about color temperature, I'm talking not about Fahrenheit and Celsius, but I'm talking about color temperature having to do with temperature Kelvin. In other words, at the lower end of the spectrum, you've got reds and oranges, infrareds. Those are at the lower end of the light spectrum. At the upper end of the light spectrum, you're going to have blues and violets and ultraviolets. And when you're shooting outdoors, quite often the light is very bright. You're getting a very bluish light. And so your camcorder will set itself to white balance for the bluish light. Indoors, under incandescent light, more often the light is at the lower end of the spectrum and you get sort of reddish orange, as we've gotten here. So this indoor light, my camcorder did not compensate for it. However, we can fix it here in post-production and do a pretty good job of balancing the white balance. So white balance, when it's perfectly set, white things are gonna look white, black things are gonna look black, instead of this kind of orangish yellow tint that we're seeing here now. So with the clip selected on my timeline, and you do have to have a clip selected on your timeline in order to use adjustments, I'm going to the toolbar on the right, and at the very top, I'm selecting adjustments. And you see, I have a number of adjustments I can make to my clip. Generally, when I'm dealing with a problem with color temperature, I go down here to temperature and tint and I make my adjustments there. So we'll toggle that open and you can see we have an instant fix tool here. So these are little previews. In the upper left hand corner, we've got the lower end of the light spectrum. These are oranges and reds if we wanted to bring that out in our picture. At the upper end of the spectrum or in the lower right hand corner, we've got the blues and I'm going to try to bring out some of the color temperature or change the color temperature to bring out more of the blues in this picture. But as you can see, as I'm selecting these instant fixes, I'm not really getting the change I want. So I'm going to click reset. The next place I go is to tint. And when I go to tint, I have a similar instant fix tool and I can click through it. And even when I go to the extreme lower right hand corner, I'm still not quite getting the white balance I want. Now normally I shy away from automatic tools, but there's an automatic white balance tool built into Premiere Elements here in the adjustments I want to show you that does great work. Before I do that, though, I'm going to reset this by clicking on this button in the lower left hand corner of temperature and tint. Make sure that no other effects have been applied. We'll toggle that closed and we'll toggle open lighting. Now here in lighting, we can adjust brightness, contrast, exposure, and the black and white points for our picture. But down here in the lower left is an auto levels button. Now watch with how nicely this auto levels button works. When I click on this, it's going to automatically set the black and white points for our picture and do a pretty good job of white balancing this particular video. And in fact, not only is it gonna white balance it, it's going to set the exposure also, the brightness and contrast. Let's see how it works. Auto levels, that looks pretty darn good, doesn't it? Now we're seeing a lot more white. You see the white in the sheets. You can see the white in the mini blinds there in the background. Uh, the skin temperatures or the skin color looks much more natural. Let's go down here to this little boy playing on the floor. And you can see he actually looks pretty good here too. Skin colors look pretty natural. And the white in the background, the white yellow of the walls looks much more natural also. Now you can see if I if I kind of scrub through here, you can see there's some things not quite right. Like we got a little bit of green in this section here. That's because the camera is moving and the tool is not quite catching up with it. But when we stay on a position like right here and click auto levels, the program does a great job of setting the white balance for us. Now we can bring up the lighting a little bit too, uh, bring up brightness by selecting from this instant fix tool, lighten up the room a little, and now we've got a very nice scene. It's been saved by the auto color tool. I suppose we can make some other adjustments to it if we wanted to, but I think the automatic tool does a great job. Now, if you want to know more about these great tools here in the adjustments panel, if you want to know everything there is to know about Premiere Elements, check out the tips and tutorials we have at moviepix.com. 
If I know every single thing there is to know about the program, you'll want to check out the moviepicks.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. It's available on Amazon.com, and I'm the guy who wrote the book. I hope to see you again real soon at moviepicks.com. Take care.